This is also going to be live on YouTube as well. Uh, so if you're not following our channel, uh, you might want to do that. We have a lot of cool events on there. Um, it's basically the Lumi Wealth channel on, uh, on YouTube, right? So definitely a great one to follow. I'm just getting that launched and there we go. We're up and running now on YouTube. That's great. So welcome guys. Welcome to our webinar. I'm glad to have you all here with us. Uh, we have a great attendance today, which is, uh, I always love that having lots of people on this thing. So we could show off uh, kind of what we do and uh, give you a little bit of a preview of the types of things that we teach, or at least for this specific course, we have other webinars for other things as well. So let me uh, share my screen with you guys and I am going to ask for your help to tell me if you actually see my screen being shared. So there's a chat option, by the way, guys, throughout the entire webinar. So you guys can chat and ask about, sorry, just one second. So you guys can chat and ask about basically um, if you have any questions or if you have anything throughout the lecture. Yes, you can see, perfect, awesome, thank you for that. So if you have any questions throughout the webinar, uh, feel free to use either the chat or there's also a Q&A feature as well. So uh, don't wait until the end. Um, you can ask questions throughout and that's, that's perfectly fine. Uh, we're, I'm gonna have even more time at the very end of the webinar so you guys can ask uh, any specific questions that you have uh, around any of the material that we cover, All right? So this is our agenda for today. So essentially what we're gonna do is I'm gonna tell you a little bit about kind of our company and what we do and what this course is about. And then we're gonna jump into algorithmic trading. And uh, this is basically like a, a nice little free session, if you wanna put it that way, right? Where basically um, we're gonna be teaching you a little bit about algorithmic trading, what it is, why it matters. And then we're gonna be showing you how to use our open source library, uh, which I believe is day 10 or day 11 in our actual class. Right, so uh, if you take our actual class, there's a lot more that you get from it from, than just this, but hopefully this gives you uh, a decent amount of free stuff so you guys can actually even start uh, going without, um, you know, before even getting into the class, right? Okay, so uh, introduction. So first of all, who am I? Um, so I saw a chat here. Um, hello, hi. <laughs> um, so, so first of all, who am I? Um, my name is Robert, right? So uh, why, you know, why am I teaching this course? Why does this matter? Um, so I have uh, a master's in finance. I used to work on Wall Street for a period of time. Uh, when I worked on Wall Street, I specifically uh, set up, I was teaching people, or sorry, not teaching people. I was, I was running uh, software teams, right? So um, I worked at a few different companies on Wall Street, some of them really, really large corporations um, where the software that uh, the team that I created and, uh, you know, helped manage and that sort of thing and, and train. Um, we built out a piece of software that I believe now has done probably around 30 or $40 billion worth of loans, right? So uh, definitely know how to build that large scale type of operation. Um, I was also one of the early founders of Voyager. I think I was employee number four, number five. Um, and Voyager is uh, very, very close, cross your fingers, uh, gonna be a unicorn very soon. Um, what we are is we're a crypto broker. And um, basically if you, uh, if you know Coinbase, you know, you go into Coinbase, you can buy and sell uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever. Uh, Voyager is very similar. Um, I personally think it's better. There's certain different reasons for that. Obviously I'm biased, but uh, we're, we're doing very well as a company and um, paid off quite well. So <laughs> definitely know how to build uh, software specifically for the finance field. Um, I've been coding for about 20 years now. So uh, kind of gives, <laughs> uh, kind of tells you uh, how long it's been for me. Uh, I was, I was, you know, a teenager when I learned how to code. So that's kind of my background there. Um, what is Lumi Wealth? So Lumi Wealth is a company that we started about two years ago now. Um, and what we do specifically is we teach people how to code for the finance industry, right? So if you're someone who wants to build a trading robot, we'll help you with that. If you're someone who wants to um, build code to assess uh, you know, loan default rates, we can help out with that. Um, if you're someone who wants to uh, train your team on this sort of thing, if you're, if you're someone that works at a, you know, at a bank and you wanna get your team trained and learn uh, Python and then specifically how to apply it to a bank, we could do that sort of thing. So that's what we work on. Um, that's our passion. That's what I care about the most. 
uh, it's the reason why we started this company and, you know, very deeply care about this sort of issue. As you can tell throughout my career, I've been doing this entire thing as well. So it's just an extension of that. Really. Um, our algorithmic training course is really what we're talking about here. Let me walk you through a little bit about our course uh, before we really jump into this, because um, in this lecture, we're only going to go over um, really kind of like half of one day of, of what we do in the course, but we cover so much more in the algorithmic training course. Um, if you don't know how to code, we can teach you. Um, we'll teach you uh, if you know how to code, but you don't know Python, we can teach you that. Um, our goal is to make sure that um, you have the tools to build out these types of trading bots by, on, your, on your own uh, throughout the end of this course, right? So um, again, it, it, whether you're a coder or you're not a coder, this, this course will apply to you, right? We have three different plans, uh, videos only, live classes, and project help, right? By the way, these, these slides that we're sending out, these are gonna be included on the YouTube video afterwards as well. And we'll be sending out uh, a follow-up email with um, a, a link to the YouTube, and which is gonna be recorded afterwards, um, or we'll have this recording. And we'll also have um, these slides that, I'm sh that I was showing over there, right? So, okay, so our class, uh, like I said, has three different uh, plans. We have videos only, we have live classes, and we have project help, okay? And these are kind of the prices across the board. Uh, videos only is kind of what it sounds like. Um, we teach you uh, through pre-recorded means. Uh, you can watch our videos and you can learn that way, right? Um, it's, it's a little bit more of the budget-friendly option, but definitely still has a lot of great content in there. Um, I can tell you our most popular course by far is our live classes. Um, and the reason for that is really quite simple. Um, what it is, is you go into basically a live chat. We, we just finished uh, our, one of our courses yesterday. So it was, it was really nice seeing those alumni coming out. But um, the, uh, it's, it's a live class through Zoom. Everyone joins, can ask questions throughout. You're gonna get to know a lot of people. It's a lot like being in a class in person, right? Um, but, and of course, uh, having a class in person for something very specific like what we teach is almost impossible um especially during covid of course uh but you know maybe new york is probably one of the only places maybe san francisco uh if you don't live in those places it's going to be next to impossible to, to find a course this specific right um so teaching online really is is where we are at right and basically you get to meet a lot of other people that are in similar situations with you you can build projects together um, you can ask questions throughout. So this is like a webinar right now um, in a live class environment. You also have your camera on if you want to, right? And you could just ask questions with your voice. Um, here it's chat. Um, it'd be great if we could do voice as well, but I guess the features aren't there yet in Zoom. But in our live classes, we do have that. So you can ask questions if there's something that you don't understand. Um, you know, very easy to, to elaborate on certain things. Um, and then also, if you have any uh, problems for with like trying to do some of the code, we get on calls with you and we help you walk through it. So, for example, one of our students, uh, I'm speaking with him tomorrow. He's building out some code. He like, has his own little trading bot going. Um, I'm going to be on the phone with him tomorrow, helping him actually get the code to work. Right. So this is what a live class is about. It really is a lot of that like live um, class environment. It's really like you're actually in a class in person um, over Zoom, of course but you really get a lot of that from it, right? It's, it's, it's once a week, one hour every week uh, for 12 weeks straight. And it's honestly, it's a great class. We've had nothing but rave reviews about it. Um, if, you, if you don't believe me, um, join our Discord channel um, right here. You know, we just created an alumni group, by the way. Uh, you can go into our general channel and there's a lot of stuff going on here all the time. There's lots of people talking, a great place to be. Um, there's a link actually to join it here as well, Discord channel. Uh, just click on that, you can join, right? But uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely a great place to be. It's great to be part of this community and that sort of thing, yeah? Uh, so those are live classes. Um, our, our step up from there is our project help and tutoring. If you buy this, you also get to be part of the live classes as well. And then on top of that, you're gonna get lots and lots of individualized help, right? So there's people that will choose this, that wanna build their own trading algorithms and like really want to have uh, someone help out to make sure that it's doing, that's working out really well. Right? So it's kind of like, we'll actually, we'll even get developers for you on this. Um, it'll be either myself helping you code, or we could even get uh, some software engineers to help out with your project, right? Um, and it's also that live one-on-one -on -one tutoring. So you really get a lot of, a lot of uh, FaceTime, right? Okay, um, when you click on live classes, you'll see available dates. Um, 
As you can tell, uh, our class is starting very, very soon in January. I believe our closing day is tomorrow. Today is the 21st. So, so if you want to sign up for this class, uh, tomorrow is the closing date, right, for the January classes. Um, other than that, we also have the March classes as well. They can join, uh, which start March 11th, right? The other ones start March or January 27th. And then we're probably going to have another class as well, um, probably sometime in May, probably end of April or May is most likely the, the next one, but we still have to plan that out. Um, as I said, it's 12 weeks long. Um, we recommend about eight to 12 hours per week of, of like actual work. It depends on if you have a lot of coding abilities, um, it's probably gonna be even shorter. It's gonna be on the shorter end of that and maybe even less than eight. Um, it really depends on, uh, on kind of your skill levels. Uh, we have people that um, have coded Python before that are great at this sort of thing. They tend to learn this stuff really quickly and they focus more on the finance aspect and how to apply it. Um, whereas the people that uh, we have another subset of people uh, as well that are like venture capitalists and, and private equity guys and investment bankers that join our classes, they don't know how to code. For them, it usually takes a little bit longer to learn, right? But uh, they obviously have a lot of finance knowledge that they can add in. So it's, it's, we have both groups. We have lots of coders and we have lots of people that are finance specialists. That tends to be the group that we get. Um, and again, the live classes are great because you get to know people and you like really get to interact. Um, the group projects are awesome, you know? Um, so yeah, so the class schedule, uh, 12 weeks long, every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, the March classes are every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern, right? Okay, um, and then throughout the course, uh, to kind of talk about our curriculum a little bit. Um, so we have two projects that you're gonna work on throughout the course. We, we, we believe in project-based learning, right? And we've done this because uh, just, we've been doing this for a long time um, and we've learned that people really like building projects. Um, so we got a chat here. Uh, what is the goal at the end of the class? What will I have learned? Yes, exactly. So this is so this is kind of like the projects is really the, the goal of the class, right? Um, so that's that's what we've learned over time is, is exactly the question that you asked, right? Like, what is the goal of this class? What will I have learned? What am I trying to accomplish? And it's really is to make these two projects, right? These are the final things that you're trying to accomplish, okay? The first one is building out a project where you can analyze investment strategies, right? Which means there's a lot of precursors you have to get, you have to know how to get there. You have to know how to code. You have to know how to analyze data. You have to know how to download that data. You have to know how to interpret it well. We help you build all those things up. And then you're gonna have this uh, project that you build out where you're gonna be analyzing an investment strategy of your own choosing, right? So people choose all sorts of different things. Um, in the class I just finished, we had people that chose um, you know, pivot points was one big topic that people talked about. And that was like a great way. They're, they're actually quite, it's uh, one of our students just started uh, trading live and his bot is actually doing quite well. Um, so definitely seems to be something that's paying off this, these pivot points. Um, but there's, uh, there's all sorts of other things. You could analyze economic variables. You could be looking at analyst expectations. Um, I've, I have some uh, people that have joined our classes. I mean, some people are like very specialized in specific things. So they want to be very good at um, bank stocks, for example, right? It's like one person that we're teaching is he's a bank stock uh, or he used to be, work at a bank and he wants to know how to analyze these bank stocks based on his certain criteria. So we'll teach you how to do that, how to do the analysis and then actually back test your investment strategy to see um, if you guys don't know what back testing means, what it essentially means is um, over the past, let's say 40 years, we'll get 40 years worth of data, test your strategy on the past 40 years. Would you have made money over the past 40 years, right? If so, then we're more confident that your uh, strategy will make money in the future, right? So we teach you how to do all that sort of thing, how to analyze investments, how to download data, go through that, how to back test your strategies and how to make sure that these are strategies that are going to be making you money, right? So that's project one, okay? Project two is actually building the bot, right? Um, so I know a lot of you guys are very interested in this. There's a lot of, um, it's, it's one thing to say, I'm gonna build a trading robot and, and we have code already available for that. Um, and I'll show you uh, our open source project after this. You can get code, you could do this. That's not the hard part. The hard part is actually figuring out what is a good investment strategy? Um, how are you gonna apply this? How are you gonna run this trading bot? That is a hard part. And that's what we really teach you throughout this course. Um, so I have a question here. The data that we pull from to make these tools, are they typically free sources or usually tied to some subscription or third-party tool? Um, we, we try to work with free data as much as possible, right? Um, 
there, there are some situations where we'll bring up paid sources, but that is not part of the main curriculum. Um, it is optional. If you choose to pay for data sources, that's up to you. But um, we work with free data sources because you know we don't want you to have to pay extra stuff on top of the on top of the course, right? So free data sources is what we work with for the most part. And if if you choose to get other things on top of that, we'll show you how to do that as well, right? Okay, great question. Thank you. Um, okay, so first project was. Uh, analyzing investment strategy, which means getting data, back testing it, knowing how to back test, knowing how to see if your strategy actually is going to work and make sense. Uh, project two is actually turning that into a, a bot that can actually buy and sell stocks for you, right? So when you come out of this class, you're going to know how to A, analyze investments, analyze what types of things you should be investing in, and B, you're going to know how to actually build a robot to actually implement that sort of thing, okay? These are the two main projects that we go throughout the course, okay? Um, to kind of go into the details, um, by the way, there's some really cool um, testimonials here that I recommend you guys watch. Uh, there's some of our existing students. If you go to the bottom here, um, the testimonials they actually have even more where you can see a uh, games trading bot in action. And I highly recommend a lot of people to watch this because it's, it's cool how uh, his train bot works. And um, I, I believe he's making like close to 1% a day now, um, which is a lot of money if you actually do the math behind that. That's like pretty crazy, the, the types of returns that he's getting. All right, I have another question here, so I'm gonna answer that. Okay, so another question. Uh, does it work for Forex? Yes, yes. So we work with across all sorts of different asset classes, right? Uh, Forex options is another big one that people ask about. Crypto is another big one that, that people ask about. We can work with anything, right? Uh, we have an open source project that's very easy for you guys to add in any kind of brokerages and any kind of uh, assets that you guys want to trade in it's very easy to extend into that and that's a major part of the course so yes we we're not just stocks right uh we are definitely into options we're into forex we're into crypto um anything that you guys want to be trading will help you automate that sort of thing right okay so to get into the details of the curriculum a little bit um sorry one more question here um Futures in Ninja Trader. Um, I'm not familiar with Ninja Trader. Um, what brokerage services will the bot use to place the trades? How much understanding should I have? Not a programmer though. Okay, so uh, so to answer the first question, um, Futures in Ninja Trader. I'm not familiar with Ninja Trader. I don't know. Um, there are some brokers that have API access and some that don't. Um, we work with obviously ones that have API access, which means you can connect to it using software code, right? Um, some really great brokers are Alpaca, which is the main one that we use throughout the course. Um, TD Ameritrade is another major one that has Forex, it has futures, it has options. It's actually, in my opinion, the best brokerage in America, uh, TD Ameritrade. Um, you can work with interactive brokers. There's a bunch of other um, brokerages that have API access. Um, so Ninja Trader, I'm not familiar. Um, they might have API access, but I'll have to look into that. I'm, I'm not sure, right? Um, there, but there's a lot of brokerages that you can work with and definitely the top ones, TD Ameritrade, for example, is, is, is a major one. No problem. Um, what brokerage services will bot use to place the trades? Um, I, I believe I answered that question as well, uh, but to just to say it again, um, there's uh, basically any brokerage with API access is one that I'd recommend to work with. Um, there's a lot of them, right? Um, so some of these obscure brokerages, they might not, you know, you might not be able to do it, um, but I'd highly recommend they actually move your money over to the, some of these other ones anyways, just because they have great services like TD Ameritrade. Like I said, I personally think it's the best brokerage in America, in my opinion, right? Um, so it depends, right? And then uh, another question is, how much understanding should I have? Not a programmer. Um, like I said, at the very beginning, um, you don't need to be a programmer to join our course. Um, you will definitely meet a lot of other programmers in the course. Um, so there's, you know, if you're a programmer, definitely we're not going to be going so slow that, you know, you don't, you're not going to get any value from it. But if you don't know how to code, um, we can definitely help you out with that, right? So uh, to go through the curriculum here, the first, uh, the first bits are kind of going through Python, a little refreshers. If you don't know how to code at all, I'd recommend that you take uh, maybe an extra day or two to learn a little bit of Python before you join. But again, we've in the past session that we just had, uh, and you can go into our chat as well and just ask people. Um, I can name you know a few different people that just weren't coders that joined, um, and now they actually know how to code. Right? It's, it's like coming through this. It's 
you know, the way that you learn how to code is by actually doing, right? So it's the most interesting, like the way I learned how to code when I was very young, actually, um, was just doing a project that I loved. I loved working on this project. It was what taught me how to code, right? And that's kind of the same philosophy that we embody here. So even if you're not a coder, uh, we will teach you that. And I believe we can get you really fast up to speed and especially you're gonna be working on something that they, you enjoy. So it'll be something that you'll really be able to learn from this, right? Um, okay, another chat here. Uh, thank you, okay, cool, no problem. Thank you, great questions. Okay, so to go over our curriculum, um, first of all, uh, the, the first class, like a course introduction, it's a great way to get to know people. Um, we do like a round robin, everyone introduces themselves to each other. It's, it's really, it feels very much like a community. You guys really get to know each other well. Um, after the first class, everyone's very happy and excited. Uh, so it's, it's, it's definitely a great first class. Um, and then we go into kind of, for those of you that aren't, you know, programmers, we will teach you the Python. We go through it pretty quickly. So we, we have supplementary materials as well for you to go through it on that as well. Um, and then we go through teaching you how to use pandas and applying it to, to finance. Pandas, for those of you that don't know, um, it's like Excel on steroids. It's basically um, the ability for you to do very complex operations with data and very large amounts of data um, using code, right? Uh, so imagine it kind of like, uh, like Excel, it's got like rows and columns, but in code format, and you can deal with very, very large amounts of data and very complex operations. So we teach you how to deal with that, yeah? Um, that's our first part. It's like kind of the first month. It's, th it's a three month course. It's one part is each month, right? Uh, so part one is kind of like getting your feet wet, getting you up to speed with, with Python, with data science, teaching you all the fundamentals. That's part one. Okay? Part two is really about applying it to finance, right? So it's all about how can we get data from, for example, the Federal Reserve on economics, right? How do we get Yahoo Finance data, which has options, which has uh, stocks, has a bunch of different things, Forex. You can get a lot of data from Yahoo uh, we, we teach you how to get all these different data sources. Quandle is another main one that we teach you how to use. There's a lot of all these data sources we teach you how to use. Uh, then we teach you how to uh, basically do a lot of these financial metrics and code. Uh, Kegger, max drawdown, sharp ratio. If you don't know what that is, we'll explain to you exactly what it is. But essentially, it's uh, a way of understanding, uh, is this a good investment strategy or not? Right? So we teach you about that. And then we really go into back testing. We really go deep into this. Uh, and we even have our own open source code uh, that teaches you how to do this and makes it very easy for you. So uh, back testing your strategies, again, is very important. If you're not doing it in terms of uh, your investments, I think you're severely missing out because uh, this is really the way that you're going to make a lot of money. Um, and I'll show you even later on in the class, um, you know, our investment portfolio has done very, very well this year. Um, we're well over a million dollars that we're managing now. Um, and growing very, very quickly, uh, as you'll see, uh, it's been one heck of a year. Um, so back testing is, is, is a major factor in that and us understanding um, what should we be investing in and how do we get those outsized investment returns. Back testing is really the key there. Okay. All right. Uh, and then part three. Uh, so now, so you, part one, you, you know, the fundamentals. Part two, you know how to apply it to finance and you come out of it with project one. Project one is, is finished after the end of part two, okay? Uh, so you'll be able to analyze your own investment strategy by the end of part two. Now, part three is all about building your own trading robot, right? Uh, we're gonna teach you how to connect to brokers, how to use their APIs to trade. We're gonna, again, show you our open source uh, library that you can use to make this a lot easier on yourself, right? Um, we're gonna teach you how to build this, this uh, type of trading robot. Um, and then we're really going to deep dive into some trading algorithms, to actually make money and show you how we back tested them, how we run the bot uh, and all that sort of thing. Um, it's not on here as well, but we'll show you also how to run a bot on a server, which is very important too, right? Um, a lot of details, a lot of technical details about how to actually get a bot up and running and working well, right? And we'll teach you all that in this, in this uh, one part of the course. Um, by the end of it as well, uh, one really fun one that we show off, and, and I just did this class yesterday, uh, is machine learning. Um, if you guys are not familiar with machine learning, it's kind of the, the talk of the town when it comes to uh, when it comes to coding. And basically, it's allowing you to um, build out something like artificial intelligence that can trade for you. And we kind of do a, a little overview of that sort of stuff to get you started, to get your feet wet there, right? Um, what platform will the bot run? 
Um, I'm not entirely sure what you mean by platform, um, but uh, you know we're using Python as a coding language. Um, you can either, uh, yeah, we'll, we're running on AWS. Yes, yeah. So um, when, when we're talking about we're putting this bot up on a server, we're going to be running on AWS. We're not going to be running it anywhere else. Yeah. Um, AWS makes it very easy to launch services like this. And I, I think it's the most popular. So we definitely use that, right? Um, uh, again, it's built in, in Python code. We also have our own open source libraries. We, we're, we're constantly making this easier for you. And we wanted to like really make this simple for you to build a bot, test it, make sure you're making money off of it, then actually launch it and have it run for you and just make cash. Um, you have a back, you have a data science background, but no finance experience. Do you recommend this course or the machine learning course? Um, I think both would be good for you. Um, these are, these will both be very good courses for you. If you have a data science background. Um, so if, if you're taking this course, if you have a background in data science, especially with Python, the first, uh, let's say the first few weeks here, Python refresher is going to be very easy for you. Panda is going to be very easy. Pandas and finance can be very easy. But then part two, this is when you're really going to get a lot of value from it. Um, so we had um, uh, some other students that were in this course that just finished, right? Um, <laughs> honestly, amazing programmers, some of them. Uh, it's incredible the things that they built. And um, I really need him to do like a, a video uh, review just because the stuff that he's built is like absolutely incredible. I think he can like launch his own website and like make a ton of money off it just because of how great it is what he built out. Um, but if you're, if you're a data scientist, you'll probably go down his sort of path, um, where, you know, the first few courses will be like a little slower for you admittedly, right. Cause we want to get everyone up to speed, but then in the second part, you're really going to get a lot out of it. We're going to teach you a lot of finance. Uh, it's really all about application of data science to finance. And then, uh, the last part is really about building out this trading robot. And there's a lot of details and technicality required there. So I think you get a lot out of this course, if you're a data scientist, um, and then of course, machine learning is, <laughs> it's every, everyone wants to know how to use machine learning. So um, that will definitely also be a great class. So should you do this one or that one? I'd say both, <laughs> but um, it's, it's really up to you, right? I think they'd be both great classes to go through. Um, this one is gonna teach you how to build that trading robot. The machine learning one is gonna teach you all the fancy machine learning techniques on how to actually build out trading algorithms. So. Uh, if you want to build out like a really cool, fancy robot, I'd say take both. Um, we could also give you a discount if you take two classes together. Um, so like I said, uh, actually, if you watch our videos for, for the other class, anyone who takes one of our live classes, if you want to take a second one, we give you a discount on the second one. All right. So if you want to do both, you're more than welcome to. Okay. Cool. Okay. So that's our curriculum. Um, it's great. There's lots of great questions. Thank you for asking all these questions. So all right, so that was uh, kind of an overview of our class, right? Uh, and kind of what we teach. Um, again, if you guys are not part of our Discord channel, you really, really should join our Discord channel. Um, I'm gonna be sending out this uh, lecture afterwards that has like the YouTube link uh, of the recording, but then also the link to this specific, um, uh, what's it called, the, our slides here. Do yourself a favor, click on the Discord channel. You might even have it in your email somewhere. Um, this is a great, great place to meet other people, talk about this. If you're wondering about what other students are like, you can see from here what they're, what they're up to. You can ask them questions directly. Um, there's always a lively conversation. There's been a lot of stuff around Bitcoin lately, um, which, I mean, who hasn't been talking about Bitcoin, right? Um, but we, there's really great people there and really smart that are like, have built out algorithms, are actually making good money off their algorithms. Um, so they're great people to learn from as well in our channel. Okay, uh, and then something that I have to bring up because um, I, I always love getting feedback from you guys. So at the end of this webinar, there's gonna be a survey at the end. Please fill out that survey so that I know how to do this better going forward because I really want to be able to improve this um, and, and do these webinars better and better each time around, right? So remember to take that survey at the end, right? Thank you very much. Um, okay, cool. So let's get into uh, the actual learning part of this session. So let's start off with uh, essentially, what is algorithmic trading and why should you care? All right, so first of all, algorithmic trading, um, it is basically using software to analyze data and make trades. I'm going to actually move this up to the top here because I've done this a few times now, and I think this actually makes more sense. Uh, using data to analyze data and make trades, uh, using software to analyze data. 
Um, so essentially kind of what we discussed there, uh, you're building a trading robot. That's what algorithm trading is. You're gonna be automatically buying and selling shares. It doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be executing the trades, but it could give you also trade alerts. So uh, some of the bigger hedge funds like Bridgewater, um, they prefer humans actually executing trades. So that's what they do. Um, but other ones like Renaissance Technologies, they don't want to, they want no humans involved at all. <laughs> they basically only want robots. So it kind of depends on the flavor, right? Uh, everyone's a little different. Um, you can make a so piece of software gives you trading alerts, right? To buy this or buy that, or you could have it actually just buy and sell for you. Okay, that's what algorithmic trading is. Yeah. Um, so why do we care about this? Well, <laughs> because there's a lot of money in it, right? Um, basically, um, the hedge fund world has been dominated by players for their algorithmic traders for decades. Um, the top hedge funds in the world have been algorithmic trading hedge funds for a very, very long time now. Um, I, th I believe 2020 was the first time in like 30 years that in aggregate um, traders that trade uh, with humans actually beat out robots, which is very, very unusual, right? Um, but these, these algorithmic trading robots are, they're very, very profitable. They make a lot of money, right? Um, to give you a couple of examples, uh, number one is probably the Renaissance Technologies. Uh, if you read a book uh, by, uh, I forget what's, what's called, what, um, who wrote it, but it's by, uh, it's, it's about, it's called the, uh, the Man Who Solved the Market. And it's about a guy named Jim Simmons, who, is, who was a mathematician, and he's the one that founded Renaissance Technologies. This guy built an incredibly, incredibly profitable company. He is a multi-billionaire. Uh, several times over, who knows how much money he really has. All these guys are very secretive. Um, but, you know, as far as we know, his fund has $110 billion in assets. Um, and then as far as the records go back, because they closed it off and said, we don't even want new investors. They, they're making so much money that they don't even want people uh, investing anymore. <laughs> they, they only have their own money. They invest their own money. Uh, they don't want new investors. Um, last we know, they had $110 billion in assets, and they're making 40% return per year on average, and very low volatility around that, by the way, okay? It's not like one year is 80, the other year is negative 50. No, it's like one year is like 35, next year is 45, next year is 30, next year is 32. Very, very consistent every single year, 40% returns for like 30 years straight. And if you do the math on that, you, that will make you fabulously wealthy in a long, over a long period of time. Um, to put that in context, uh, Warren Buffett, law, like everyone considers him the best investor of all time. He has nothing compared to this guy. Jim Simmons is much, much more successful than he is. Um, Warren Buffett over a time has made about 20% per year. Jim Simmons has doubled it. And if you guys understand the way that compounding works, double the, the rate of return per year really means I have almost a hundred times more money than you over a 50 year time period. Yeah. Um, it is a very big difference. Jim Simmons is as astonishingly wealthy and astonishingly a very, very good investor, right? Um, this is the man right here. Um, he, again, his firm, Renaissance Technologies, very, very good firm, uh, but he's not the only one. There's a lot of other people like this. Um, Two Sigma is someone, uh, is a company in, in New York. Last I heard they had 60 billion in assets. They're fabulously wealthy as well. And they're having similar returns. 30, 40% a year, right? Doing incredibly well. Um, Citadel is another one, 32 billion assets, doing very well. Bridgewater run by Ray Dalio, uh, $140 billion last time I checked, um, also doing incredibly well. And they all believe in the same sort of thing as these algorithms using software to help you trade, using software to help you make better decisions and using software to automatically make trades for you so that there's no human element, element involved. So like when markets crash, you're not freaking out, the computers are actually doing their job. These funds are doing incredibly, incredibly, incredibly well. They've beat out, I mean, basically like if, if you're a hedge fund and you're not an algorithmic trading hedge fund, um, like who are you? <laughs> you know what I mean, like you're not making much money. There's very few that are not like that, right? Uh, they're actually making very good returns, you know? Um, and then also what comes with um, a lot of wealth in, in the industry comes with very high salaries. Uh, starting salaries in these firms is $350,000 a year. Um, and that's just base, right? This doesn't include bonus. So if you got a job at Renaissance Technologies, 
chances are you're probably making your first year, you're probably making around a million dollars a year, right? That's, that's how much money these guys are making. It's, it's unbelievable, right? Um, so this is why we care, right? Um, to show you my returns, oh, I don't know what happened here. Uh, okay, this is, uh, I, I edited this other day, but basically um, this is uh, m the returns that we have in our portfolio. Um, maybe I can somehow reset image. I don't know why this disappeared. Undo. No, for some reason it's not there. Sorry guys, um, technical difficulty here, but um, essentially to show off our, our returns, um, what we have done over the past year, uh, if you look at 2020, the S&P 500 over that year did about 18%. Uh, we got about 55%. So we got about triple the market over, over the last year, right? So if you're wondering, am I just talking out of my whatever? Um, we do have the returns to, to back that up. Um, and you can actually take a look at, um, you know what, maybe I'll do this and this, maybe this will work out better. Um, I'll show you a live kind of demonstration of one of our accounts. Yeah. Just because the image is in there, you can see it live here. And maybe this is even more, maybe this proves things even a little bit better. Um, but it will take me a second to get it up and running here. So I'm logging into my account. Where is this? There we go. Okay. Performance benchmarks. You guys see that? Hopefully you can see that. All right. Um, so what you're looking at here, it's 55% returns um, compared to, or almost 57% return over the past year. That's 2020. We really didn't lose a lot of money in 2020. When everyone was panicking in March, that's when we made a killing. We made a lot of money on the way down and we made a lot of money on the way up. Um, and that's compared to S&P 500, which is up 18% over that same time period. So we tripled the market's returns over the past year. So just to give you an idea of the types of returns that we're making, right? Okay, cool. So to get into the code, right? And this is this is the fun part, at least at least to me, and hopefully you guys find it fun as well. Um, let's let's talk about the code and let's actually teach you how to get something up and running for yourself. Um, again, this is kind of what we teach you in the second or the third part of the course to actually how to build out your bot. There's a lot of things they need to know before this on how you actually backtest how to analyze things and there's a ton of things before this, but hopefully this is like a fun thing for you guys to see. And, and if you know how to code, you can actually build this out yourself, right? And, and kind of follow along a little bit. Um, so tools we'll be using, uh, Alpaca is the broker that we use. We use Alpaca just because it's a fantastic broker, uh, commission-free trades, $0 per trade. Um, and their APIs are impeccable. It's, uh, you can't ask for a better broker when it comes to algorithmic trading than Alpaca. They're great to learn from. They also have paper trading. Um, so they're really great to work with. Um, one downfall of Alpaca is they don't have futures or options or Forex. Um, but again, we can add in other brokers to do that sort of thing. But Alpaca is the broker that we're choosing in this one just because it's, it's very easy to see and, and get going, right? Um, then we're also using Python 3, right? Uh, we're using Pandas, which I, like I said, is like Excel on steroids. And we're using Visual Studio Code, which is basically this thing here, um, how you're going to be actually building out your code. Um, it's what we recommend. You don't have to use it, but it's, it's definitely a, a very easy thing to use for in terms of coding. Okay. Um, so our code. So first of all, our code is open source. So, you know, um, we are not making this up. We actually do know how to get this going. Uh, you could check out our uh, open source uh, library here. Um, if you're going to take a look at it, um, we are constantly improving this thing. We're fixing bugs. We're adding features. We're constantly making this thing better. Um, so make sure that you watch it and you start it if you're on GitHub. Watch it and start it um, because we're going to be giving you lots of updates. And if you're starting it, if you're watching it, then we'll actually, um, you'll get the, those notifications that we've updated things. Maybe I'll update your libraries. Okay. So make sure that you do that if, uh, if you're a part of the GitHub community. All right. But our open source library here, um, really simple way of getting a bot going, right? Uh, we built this whole thing out. Um, this is kind of like the little guide on how to get started. You know, you do your pip install, you build out your config file, um, and then you're going to do your, your little bit of setup. And I'm kind of going to walk you through exactly what this looks like in, in real life. Um, and this is basically, you can just follow along here, um, how to get started. 
uh, we also tell you a little bit about our back testing and how to get that working too. Okay. So this is our open source library. Um, it's something that we use throughout our courses and we teach you not only how to use this, but we teach you all the fundamentals behind it and how to actually get going from this. Right. Okay. Um, so that's our open source library. Um, again, we're sharing this uh, file with you guys. So make sure you click on it, check out that library. Um, make sure that you, uh, <laughs> I feel like a YouTube kind of guy, like and follow. Um, what you want to do is you want to watch and you want to star because we'll get you, um, we'll get you all those updates and that sort of thing. Okay. Um, this library has a lot of example strategies in there they can work with, um, has several different data sources that we can pull from. We keep adding more and more. Uh, we have several different brokers. We keep adding more and more. So for you, all you guys asking, does it work with this brokerage? Does it work with that brokerage? The answer is, um, we can add it in. If it's not there, we can add it, you know, and we're constantly improving on this thing. Right. Um, it's easy to add your own strategy, easy to create one and back testing is included. Um, this is, it, we're, we're hoping to make this, uh, this, uh, open source library, the gold standard in, uh, in algorithmic trading. So that's what we're working towards. I think we're slowly getting there. Um, we're, we're still trying to build out kind of more and more, uh, features into it. I, I, you know, as a software developer, you never feel like things are perfect, but, um, I feel like this is quite a strong library for you guys to work with, right? And of course we use it throughout our courses and teach you how to use it and teach you all the fundamentals around it, all right? Um, okay, so let's, let's talk demo, right? Um, so what I'm gonna be demoing for you guys, and I have to sign to my account, I realize I haven't signed in yet. Um, so this is uh, meant to show off uh, capability, not trading returns, first of all. Um, although uh, some of the strategies that we do use the, uh, they are profitable strategies and, and they're probably ones that you could use to actually make you money. Um, and then in the course, again, we obviously go through a lot more than just this. Um, we'll teach you all the, the financial data science fundamentals, how to work with all this stuff, how to research your own strategies and how to come up with the good ones and kind of show you some examples of people that have done well. Plus there's obviously the community of other people you can learn from. And, and I'll be honest with you, uh, the last course that just happened, Everyone was just talking amongst themselves, trying to figure out what's a good strategy. And, and so far it's working out quite well. I'll tell you that much. Our, our students are definitely making some money. Um, and then we'll teach you how to create and run your own strategies, of course. And that's throughout the course. Okay. Um, I'm going to be demoing to you uh, today four strat or three strategies, actually. Um, we're demoing a momentum strategy, which is a long-term momentum strategy. Uh, what it basically does is it looks over X amount of days, right? Um, so I got a, I got a question here. Um, are the video only classes also on schedule January and March videos only classes you can buy whenever you want. Um, so the, the live classes are uh, a, a specific date. And, and the reason why and it's, it's really simple is because uh, the live classes you have to attend a zoom, right? You have to be actually be on zoom to go through and, and be part of this, right? So there's, there's a set schedule, right? Like it's just not possible to do it otherwise. Um, if you want to get the videos only, then you could buy it whenever, right? Um, you know, basically if we pay for live classes, will we also have access to videos only? Yes, you will, yes. So if you pay for live classes, you have lifetime access to not only the videos for this class, but also future videos as well. Um, and you know, every, every uh, semester that we go through, uh, things keep improving, we have newer things. So if you wanna even watch the newer videos, you have access to that as well. So uh, if you buy our live classes, you'll have access to it for, for lifetime. And not just this class, but going forward into the future as well, right? Okay. Um, so uh, great questions. Thank you guys. Perfect. Um, uh, what type of support do we have? We have lots of questions here. Okay. What type of support do we have on videos only classes? Um, so obviously support is not as much as live classes. On live classes, you can ask questions and, and we kind of do a lot of interaction. You meet other people. Um, if you take the videos only class, I mean, we have Discord available. You can ask questions through Discord. I'm available throughout that. Um, there's obviously the community that you can speak to as well. So uh, don't don't feel like if you buy the videos only, you're completely on your own. Um, but you definitely don't have as much support as a live class does. I can tell you that much. Um, and, and that's obviously the the difference. The main difference there is that that, that live community and the, and the inter interaction. But um, with videos only, you'll also still have access to the community. You'll be able to talk through Discord and you'll still have that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, will there be recordings for live classes if we missed one? Yes, 100%. So that happens all the time. You know, people get busy, work happens, whatever. Um, if you miss a class, 
we send out the classes um, either later that day or the next day. So you can watch the, those live classes, right? Uh, so you don't get left behind, right? Um, if, yeah, so if you miss a live class schedule, they're recorded. Yes, exactly. So you get that, that recording afterwards. So if you miss one, it happens all the time. You know, people get busy with things. Uh, like for example, a class just happened, like someone moved, right? Um, so they were able to catch up from, from the recordings, right? Um, is there a limit of students live? Was a ratio of student to coach? So I can tell you our classes are about 15 to 20 people. Uh, we try to keep them smaller uh, because after we get larger classes, obviously, you know, it's not as good. Just, just like any school, like any university, you want to have small class sizes. And that's what we aim towards as well, right? So uh, you'll probably have around 15 or 20 people in the class. So you get really a lot of that one-on-one -on -one time with the instructor. Uh, for this class, it's going to be myself. So you know exactly who's teaching it. Um, for the machine learning course, it's going to be Greg. Uh, we could talk about him and he's going to be doing his own webinar. Um, but he's also a very, very smart person as well and, and knows his stuff quite well. He's like a Stanford and Caltech grad and whatever is... I mean, we, we have good instructors, you know, that's, that's kind of what I'm saying here. Um, and we have small class sizes. So this way you can interact um, and really get the most out of it, right? Because if you have a question, if there's something that comes up, I am more than happy to get on a video call with you. Um, I'm more than happy to answer you. I, I answer Discord messages up until like midnight every day. <laughs> I mean, um, I love this stuff. This is what I love to do. So I'm more than happy to help out as, as much as I possibly can, right? And if you're part of our live class, We'll get on live videos with you. Uh, you'll be able to interact with other students. You'll be able to interact during the class. Uh, you really get a lot out of it, right? It's really, um, it really, we're geared towards get, giving you the most out of these classes, right? Okay, cool. Um, so that's those questions. Thank you guys, great questions. Um, okay, so to get back to uh, kind of our demo here. So we're gonna be demoing again, three strategies. Uh, first one, momentum strategy, which is basically, um, buying uh, the stock or really any asset, but in this case, the stock um, of what has done the best over a certain time period. So let's say over the past 300 days, which stock has done the best? Has it been bonds or, you know, the US stock market or someone else That's so basically what, what is there? And we buy that one and we hold it for a period of days, right? And that has, the studies have shown that that actually works uh, and you could do the back test and you see it actually works as well. Um, intraday momentum, same sort of thing, except throughout the, the in, like within a day, right? And we're saying, um, if this stock has done well over the past two minutes, then buy that stock and continue on, continue on with it, right? Um, so for example, like uh, some, some clear examples are kind of like when you see like breakouts of stocks, like some news came out and Tesla's up like crazy, uh, then we can capitalize on that and buy it and ride the wave, right? Uh, that's the intraday momentum. And then we have a diversification, which is what's recommended by Ray Dalio. Um, uh, and this is basically Ray Dalio's all weather strategy. And that's basically what we do is we buy a set of assets. It's uh, stocks, bonds, long-term bonds, short-term bonds, gold, and commodities. We buy all those in specific ratios. And then we keep that ratio throughout and we rebalance our portfolio. And it's a great way you'll see uh, to reduce the risk of your portfolio, but still maintain a very high return. And you can even leverage this and make a ton of money doing it. Um, definitely a very good strategy for sure. Okay, so those are strategies that we're gonna be showing off. Um, what I'm gonna do really quickly because I did not log in beforehand. Um, I'm gonna turn off my screen sharing for one second because I need to enter my password. <laughs> so bear with me for one second, guys. Um, so I'm going to stop screen sharing for one second and I'm going to log into my Alpaca account, uh, alpaca.markets and you guys will see this in one second. Um, sorry, it's a, it's a live webinar. So I'm a little bit, uh, want to make sure that we are not getting hacked here. Okay. All right. So there we go. So I've logged in. Okay. Let's, uh, get back to screen sharing. Okay. Okay, so uh, screen is sharing again, and they actually changed their uh, accounts a little bit. So this is uh, our paper trading account, okay? Um, let me sell this, we had a thing that we owned in there, okay? All right, so this is our account. Um, basically, it's paper trading, it's not real money, right? So it's, it's easy for us to demo things to you guys. Uh, when you join our class, you actually get access to this. It's, this is free, right? They allow you to do this for free. It's very easy for, this is why we use Alpaca. Uh, it's because you can actually like test your strategies, right? Before you put on live money. Um, very few brokers allow you to do that, especially when it comes to API trading. Alpaca allows you to do that, right? So um, you can actually test out your strategies, see if they work first, and then put them onto live money, okay? 
So let's go here. And this is my, uh, this is my code. And this code specifically connects to uh, this broker, right? So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be showing you each one of these strategies working in code and then actually being executed on the broker. Okay. Um, and again, this is also using our open source library and it's what we teach you throughout the course. Okay. So when you go through our uh, open source library, you go through uh, kind of the, um, the, the quick start guide that we have there, we'll teach you to basically get something like this up and running, right? Where we import all the things that we need to get imported at the top here. Uh, these are all our different strategies that we're importing. Uh, these are some of the LumiBot uh, open source stuff that we need to do. Uh, so we, we get all that stuff in. We set up a few variables here where we're saving our logs and whatnot. Uh, we initialize our variables and then these are our strategies here, right? We select strategies. And then we, uh, whenever we run an, uh, a trade or whenever we, we turn on our bot, what I highly recommend that you do is you first run a back test and then you start trading and you can actually even test your back test to say, oh, um, what was the result of it? It was a result good. And if the result was good, actually start trading. Um, there's two reasons for that is first of all, because obviously you want to make sure your, your strategy is going to be making you money, right? Uh, so like I said, backtesting is a huge part of what we, te what we teach. Um, you want to make sure that the strategies that you're doing are actually making you money, right? So that's what backtesting guarantees, or actually not guarantees, but make sure more, more so that you get that, right? Um, so you want to backtest there. And you also want to use a backtest, as, as, and if you guys are familiar with unit tests or something like that, um, it's the same sort of thing. We want to make sure that you didn't break anything in the code, right? Um, so you run that back test first to make sure that everything's working properly before you actually get um, the, the actual code going. So if we back test and then we check against a benchmark's performance. In this case, we're going to be using the S&P 500 as a benchmark. Okay, I think it's a, it's a pretty common one for, for most stock portfolios, right? Uh, so we're going to test our strategy versus uh, the S&P 500. And then we're going to actually run the strategy and it's going to go. Okay. So... Um, I'm going to pick a strategy. So I'm going to pick momentum. That was the first one we talked about. And all you really do is we have this code here. The, the momentum strategy is here. This is the code for it. And I could show you, I don't think we have a time in this lecture, but I can show you exactly how this all works. Uh, it's really easy for you to get your own strategy up and running. This is kind of the code that's there. There's also one of our examples uh, in our open source library. So you can go through it and try to understand exactly what's happening there. Again, this is you know what we teach in our courses is how to do, do this sort of thing. But this is the momentum strategy, and again, um, it's taking these three, um, these three assets: S and P 500, VEU, which is uh, stocks around the world, X United States, so all stocks other than U.S., and then AGG, which is uh, a bond index. Right? Okay, so it's taking those three, whichever one has done the best, and, and over here we set the waiting period. You set this to to ten, to one, to hundred. Right, you could change it and make it whatever you'd like there. Um, but essentially, this is our trading strategy. It's, it's looking over a one-day period, um, which, one, which one is doing the best, okay? So now uh, I'm gonna hit run here. And while I hit run, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna answer a question. Um, this takes a little bit of time. I'll tell you about what, what's happening in a second. So we have a, a chat here. Is the back test also from Alpaca or so their API also has a full database of historical prices? Yeah, Alpaca gives you free data. So oh, they're an amazing broker. Honestly, I highly recommend using them when it comes to uh, uh, algorithmic trading. They have a paper trading account so you can see how your, how your algorithm is working in, in real time. Um, they have a bunch of free data that you can use from them. We're actually pulling their data for this back test, right? Um, and they have a lot of historical prices there. And it, they actually even have minute by minute data, which is like quite hard to find. Um, Alpaca is one of them. Uh, Polygon is what they use. And then there's also Alpha Vantage that has uh, minute by minute data. And that's, that's kind of what we're using here, All right? Okay, so I ran this and let me tell you about what happened, first of all. Um, so we ran this strategy, we did the back test and we see that um, in, over this time period, so we picked a time period 2018 to 2019, we picked one year, right? Um, over that time period, the strategy made 7.5%, volatility of 10.5%. Uh, which gives us a sharp ratio of about 0.71. The, the sharp ratio I highly recommend using as an investment metric. And we can get into that in the course as to why. Over that same time period, um, S&P 500 did three point, negative 3.36, right? So it lost money in that one year and it was more volatile with a negative sharp ratio, right? So this is S&P 500 was negative 3.36 
our strategy got 7.56 over that time period. It's great, amazing. So we're beating them. Not only do we beat them, but we also had a lower volatility, right? So it was less stressful. And, and not only that, but the, the max loss, the max drawdown, right? So from, from the top to bottom, how, how big of a drop was it? S&P was 19% almost lost that year, whereas our strategy would have only lost 9%. So this is a good, it seems like a good strategy, right? From our back test, okay? Um, and then what we did is we actually now started running this back test and we looked at these different stocks as of today. S&P, uh, SPY has a return of 0.2. Uh, this one has a zero, this one has a negative 12, 0.12, right? Um, so the one that we want to buy is SPY, right? Based off of that, because it's a momentum strategy. Okay, so we can see here, put in a market order, uh, bought all that stuff, okay, and how much we bought it for. And then we go back here, give it a second to load up. Um, sometimes it takes a second, there we go. We automatically bought that stock. How cool is that? We actually have a robot working for us. Uh, that we tested the strategy, something that's going to make us money. Um, and we actually executed it and we see it actually working live. All right. So that's our momentum strategy. Okay. Um, now, when we cancel this, watch this, I cancel is automatically sells everything and it's all gone. All right. So this is, this is the, the code trading on my behalf. I'm not buying and selling anything. Okay. All right. Okay. So that's our momentum strategy. Now let's say we want to do our diversification strategy. This is Ray Dalio and what he recommends. And he says, buy a group of assets and rebalance on a regular basis, right? So let's run that. Um, this is the code for that strategy. Um, these are the specific symbols, right? We have a portfolio, SPY, 30%, TLT, 40%, IEF, 15%. That's, this is what it's going to build out. Gold, 7.5%. Uh, DJP, which is commodities, 7.5%. So we want to build a portfolio like that, right? Um, and that's specifically what this strategy is going to build out. Uh, and it's going to rebalance on a daily basis, periods one day. Uh, we could do it every 10 days. We could rebalance every 30 days, whatever, right? But let's just pick one, yeah? All right, and I'm going to run this and then um, we're going to talk about it. And again, this is because there's a question, there's several questions. So let me run the strategy um, and let it do its back test while I'm answering you guys' questions, yeah? So let's go here. So chat, um, can you run different strategies at the same time on the same broker and allocate to the budget? A hundred percent. Yes. Um, and that's actually quite easy to do. Um, what we would do is we'd go like this. We go strategy one strategy two at the bottom here. We would go add strategy one and two. Okay. And that's the way that we would do it. Okay. Um, and then for each one has a budget, right? So we have a budget of 100,000. We can set different budgets for them as well. So yes, you could have two strategies running at the same time. Um, and you can have different budgets for each strategy, right? So this is very good for uh, risk mitigation, allocating different budgets towards things. It's very good for that sort of thing. So you could have, um, you know, half your portfolio in something safer. And then half your portfolio is like buying penny stocks or something like that. You could run both of those at the same time and rebalance regularly and have the budgets actually change. We built in such a way they could do that, it runs multi-threads. Um, and then also it will, um, uh, what's it called? It will monitor what stocks are part of its portfolio. So it actually measures this, this, um, this strategy has this much in its, uh, you know, has this much SPY, has this much whatever. Uh, this strategy has this much as monitoring which one is very smart like that and making sure that um, you, you can run both these strategies at once right so i'm gonna reverse that and that's that's a great question thank you for asking that and we actually spent quite a bit of time building that out so i'm, I'm glad that you asked that question because that's something that we found very important and we spent a lot of time on um and then question is uh, are those etfs yes those are etfs um and in here these are uh, spy is an etf for the sp 500 TLT is an ETF for long-term bonds, right? Um, for some reason, these are switched. Um, IEF is intermediate, uh, intermediate term bonds, which is like, I think, um, 10 to 15 years or something like that. Um, and then gold is, GLD is the ETF for gold. DJP is a commodity ETF. Um, and it's basically, um, you know, it's got like cotton and pork, futures and <laughs> silver and all, all sorts of random stuff in there, but they're all ETFs. Yes. Good question. Thank you. Okay. So we ran that strategy. Okay. Um, and we, so from our diversification strategy, we see that we got a kegger of pretty much zero, right? And again, it's that same time period. 
when the S&P 500 was down by negative 3.3. So we still beat the S&P 500, not as much as our momentum strategy, but we still beat it. Um, and what's very important here too, is that our volatility was very low. So we beat it. And this is like really more of like a safe strategy. If you're worried that the market is going to crash, this is a great strategy to be in. This really protects you from a lot of, uh, from a lot of losses and still has very good returns. And if you actually uh, do use a little bit of financial theory and know your, your sharp ratios, you can actually leverage this portfolio and you can actually make very, very good returns off it. Um, this is uh, really uh, in a major part of, of how we run our own strategies is we want to be well diversified across different asset classes and across different countries. And we are, because of that, able to leverage some of our strategies a lot more and take bigger risk because we have an overall portfolio reducing our risk, right? So this is a very good strategy to, to, to go, um, to kind of mimic and, and use in, in your own trading, right? Um, can these strategies run for longer term swing trades like buying, holding for weeks to months and selling? If yes, do we need uh, like a server constantly running some cloud-based account or do I need a computer that's always open at home? Um, so yes, you could run long-term strategies. We've definitely built it for that. So it can run these strategies. There's, you know, waits for market open, waits for market to close. It can do all that sort of thing. Um, and yes, you're going to need to either have a computer that's on 24 seven or, um, or a server running. Um, actually, to, to be honest, you don't necessarily need that um, where there's ways around it, right? So if, if that's a huge problem, we can still get around that and I can show you ways to do it. But um, it's definitely recommended to run it off a server or something like that so that you can actually be monitoring these things on a regular basis, right? Hopefully it answers your question. Let me know if that answered your question fully. I'll be, I'll be watching this, uh, this chat, but uh, it's a good question. Very good question. Okay, so we ran this uh, back test. We could see that, uh, so chat, yes, answer question, thanks. No problem, thank you. Um, okay, great. So uh, we see the strategy worked out quite well. It beat the S&P 500, obviously not as much as the momentum strategy, right? Uh, momentum strategy is a little bit, um, can be a little bit riskier, um, at, at least in terms of this one, because uh, diver this diversification strategy is very low risk, right? Which enables you to do very different kinds of things with it, right? Because it's a low risk strategy, you can actually leverage it and you can actually make a lot of money doing this, right? So uh, if we were to back test, this, this is one year where things were down, but in a year when um, things are up, if you go over a long time period, the, this diversification strategy actually does quite well, especially when you compare it to S&P 500. And if you were to leverage it up, you actually get much higher returns as we have hundred with lower risks, right? So it's, it's a great strategy to use. Yeah. So uh, in either case, that's uh, that's the kind of back test results there. You can see a max drawdown. Most who have lost is 5% versus almost 20% in S and P. So it's definitely much lower risk. Yeah? Um, and then we have a hundred thousand uh, dollar portfolio or budget. Um, and we said we want to do 30% S and P 500, 40% TLT, et cetera. Uh, when we go here, let's wait for it. Boom. There you go. Automatically bought all that stuff for us. Um, and then to your point, um, can this do long-term trades? Yes. Keep this thing running and it's going to automatically rebalance for you every single day. All right. So as things change around, uh, as things move, let's say one day the S&P 500 goes up a lot, it will rebalance it, sell some of that and buy some of the other ones and automatically rebalance for you and keep uh, a very strong portfolio. Uh, and again, this is one of those things you can leverage this. You could really make a lot of money doing this sort of thing. Okay. And, and a lot of money in, with a low risk, right? And that's kind of like what we're all striving towards. Um, I don't know about you guys, but um, our portfolio, we, we manage like quite a bit of money now. Um, I am not down for taking crazy risks. You know, like a, I, I know there's some people we talk to that, you know, want to want to buy these, uh, holy crap kind of strategies, right? Uh, you buy something, you buy some crazy leveraged option or whatever, like we don't recommend that sort of thing. I mean, there, there are times when it makes sense um, and there are times when you can make money doing that, but we very strongly believe in making consistent money day after day uh, without, you know, worrying about your house burning down. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so we're all about making good money over a long period of time. Um, can you compare it with S and P on a graph? I think SPY did better than that in the last year. Um, I could, it, it would be a little bit difficult for me to actually pull that up right now, but if you want, I could, I could send that to you. If you email me, I can get you that. Uh, I could give it to you actually over a longer time period, right. Um, and show you exactly what it looks like. 
And then the thing is that uh, you can leverage this portfolio. And that's the main key here, because if you just have the regular portfolio going, the S&P 500 sort of beats it by a little bit, right? Uh, just because S&P 500 has been like on a tear for a long time, doesn't mean it's going to be the case in the future. Um, but uh, if you leverage this thing, it really, really shows you the, the kind of returns that you can get. It's much better. Um, so if you want to see the, the returns, I can send you that. Um, in essence, my broker account, I no longer need to do these advanced orders on platform like trailing stops, stop limits, et cetera, because essentially a trading bot is doing that instead of relying on these order types on the broker. Um, we actually use those those order types as well, right? So trailing stops, stop limits, uh, bracket orders, um, you could do all that stuff with the bot as well, right? Um, the bot is fast enough to execute a lot of this stuff, right? But sometimes you still want to put in a bracket order. God forbid your internet goes out or something. It, we still recommend using those order types, but they're going to be much faster executed with a bot, all right? So hopefully that answers your question. Okay, so that was that strategy. We ran that. Um, great, perfect. And now I'm going to cancel this and then sells everything and you see it's all gone. So it's all, I'm not, I'm not running any of these trades. You can see me doing this. It's, it's all through the, the code, right? Okay, cool. So last one I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to show you our intraday momentum strategy. And this one's always fun to watch. Okay. Um, save that. And then I'm going to run this here. Okay. And what this intraday momentum strategy does is essentially it's going to be, I'm going to open this up here. Um, it's going to be buying these assets, right? SPY, GLD, TLT, MSFT, and Tesla. Okay. Uh, it's going to be looking at these five assets and then based on, so this is what it is here. So let's, let's see where first bought just because we have to wait a little bit of time. Sometimes uh, I bought MSFT. Why did I buy MSFT? Okay. Well, the reason why is it's looking at these five stocks here. Okay. And it's, it's asking the question, which one did the best over the past two minutes, right? So it's a short-term momentum, right? So um, in this case, we're looking at this, SPY did 0.04, gold got zero, TLT got uh, 0.03, MSFT got 0.04, and then Tesla got zero, right? So obviously SPY and Microsoft are very neck and neck in this point. And it must be like a, a rounding error almost that, uh, that Microsoft won, okay? So we got Microsoft. Now we're gonna wait another minute. And this is, you never really know when it comes to these live, uh, live trading things, but um, we will see, okay, there you go. So it ran again, okay? And now what it did is it found that now instead TLT has been doing better over the past two minutes, right? So it's doing this two minute moving window, right? Uh, so what it did is it sold Microsoft and it bought TLT. So you see that. So this is a strategy. It's like using that short-term momentum, automatically buying things. You can do all sorts of really cool stuff using this kind of technology. Um, as I said, some of our students are using pivot points. Pivot points have, have been making some good money for some of these people. Um, you could use things like analyzing news. There's all sorts of really cool stuff that you can do uh, on this uh, short-term kind of basis. Um, yeah, so LumiBot is open source. So if you'd like to uh, mess around with LumiBot, uh, definitely it's open source. You can get it and you can start messing around with it for sure. Okay. Um, and of course, if you, uh, if you want to use LumiBot, um, then uh, we also have ob obviously the courses that will teach you how to actually use it. It will teach you how to actually do the back testing, how to find profitable strategies, how to apply actual finance to this and make money doing this sort of thing. That's, that's really what we specialize in, okay? Uh, another question, does the community have a sharing repository of different strategies? Um, no, we don't, not yet, but we're, we're working towards that. <laughs> uh, where we wanna get to eventually, and, and this is you know kind of just sharing with you guys over this webinar, uh, we want to eventually make this like really, really, really easy for you guys and have um, like, like a web-based, like a, like a website where you can actually buy, use strategies uh, pick other ones and, and mess around with them. Uh, we're, we're working towards that. I think we're probably like a year or two away from that. So it's not going to be anytime soon, uh, but we eventually want to make this like really easy for you to be able to take our LumiBot code. We'll have a cl uh, cloud hosting service that we're working on to make it very easy to host your bots, right? Um, and then we want to even make it simpler. We want to have things like uh, sh uh, sharing repositories for different strategies. We want to have all that kind of stuff going. And we're, this is where we're, what we're working towards, right? Okay. Um, and there you go. So about Tesla now. Okay. 
So there you go. So that's the demo of uh, our different trading strategies. Okay. Um, hopefully you guys found that very uh, informative and you found that pretty cool. Again, you can mess around with our, our open source projects. Um, if you don't know how to use them, we can definitely teach you how to do that. Uh, our videos will walk you through exactly how to use our code. Um, and we also teach you uh, obviously the fundamentals behind all this stuff, because it's one thing to have uh, an open source library that you mess around with. And it's another thing to actually know how to make money using it. Right. So um, that's basically what we teach. Uh, is there a way to pick the symbols from Excel without hard coding in it? Um, yes, we could definitely pull from an Excel file. Um, that can mean a, a whole host of things. So I, uh, uh, it depends on what you mean by that exactly, right? But we can definitely connect to an Excel file, pull information from it and, and, and work off of that. Uh, to be honest with you, I think we could just get rid of the Excel file. I don't think you need one. <laughs> uh, I think we do it much better without the Excel and just encode, right? Uh, it'll probably be a lot easier for you to do. But um, Pandas works with Excel quite, quite readily. So it's easy to like read things from Excel, write things to Excel or Google Sheets or whatever else. Um, it's, it's very easy to do all that sort of stuff, all right? Okay, so that's all our stuff. I'm going to uh, close this bot down, right? And own Tesla and we'll see it sell everything, right? There you go, so everything got sold. Now let's go back to our uh, webinar here. That is uh, basically the conclusion of our webinar. So that's uh, this, everything's been covered. Um, I know you guys have been asking questions throughout. I love this. Thank you very much for that. And, and I love it when, when everyone's very active during webinar. This is great. Um, any uh, last questions before we leave? Um, you guys can type into our Q&A. So there's that little button there for Q&A, or you could type into our chat as you have been doing throughout. Um, I'll give you guys a little bit of time to think of questions and to write them out. I'm gonna get a sip of water because I've been talking for a little bit. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, feel free to ask any questions and, and let me know what you think. So again, if you guys are interested in the course, uh, check out uh, lumiwealth.com. You can go to lumiwealth.com and you can go into, uh, basically it's this first button here, get started today. This is our algorithmic trading course. Again, it's starting very soon. Um, it's starting in uh, January. Well, the cutoff is, is very soon. You can see available dates here. Um, the cutoff is for registration is tomorrow, essentially Friday, right? Um, if that's a huge pain, we might be able to extend it for you guys, but really that's the cutoff date is tomorrow. Um, and the course actually starts uh, next Wednesday. So on January the 27th, okay? Uh, it's 12 weeks long. We will teach you all the fundamentals of Python and of data science. If you don't know that, we'll teach you that. Um, we will teach you how to apply data science to the finance world and how to actually, um, so can I sign up for the videos only and upgrade it if I see it's not working? Yeah, you can definitely sign up for videos only at first. And then if you want to upgrade later on, you're, you're more than welcome to do that. Yes, you can do that. Um, uh, what can I bring out of this three month class? So out of this three month class, what you're gonna have is you're gonna have these two projects, right? You're gonna be able to analyze investment strategies. You're gonna have a project where you can analyze an investment strategy find something that's actually going to be working and making you money, right? Uh, so our goal is to help you find the different data sources, uh, figure out different types of strategies and back test all that and figure out exactly what's going to be making you money and what's going to be a good strategy for you. And then number two is going to be uh, actually building out this bot uh, to be working. So after three months, you're going to have a, a good strategy and you're going to have a working trading bot. That's what you come out of this, this course with, right? Um, and yes, you can uh, sign up for videos only and then upgrade it later on if you wish. But then again, um, remember that our live classes start next week, right? So um, you would have to wait for our next cohort if, uh, if you decide to go with our videos only later on. And I'll be honest with you, um, people definitely really, really like our, our uh, live classes. This is something that a lot of people love signing up for. A lot, a lot of people love going through. It's very interactive. And people really enjoy like the community aspect of it. Um, ask our students. We, we've had, you know, very good reviews and, and I'm happy with that. Uh, and, you know, we we're constantly asking for feedback. And we're constantly trying to make this thing better. So, um, you know, that's our live classes. Cool. Um, any other questions? Uh, at what time time zones are live classes? 
So live classes are every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time, right? Um, so whatever time zone you're in, uh, we relate to that. We, we make it so that it's after most people's work time, right? Um, because so in this case, it's, it's 5 p.m. on Pacific time, which should be still good if you're uh, working there nine to five, right? So at five o'clock, we have the, the class there on, on Pacific time, right? Um, and then 8 p.m. Eastern time, usually that's after everyone's done working as well, right? So that's, that's, the, times, that's the times that we run these things and it's every Wednesday, right? Uh, and then one hour uh, per week and it's over, live over Zoom, right? Um, if you miss them, then you could also watch the, the recording afterwards as well. Um, and we say one hour per week, sometimes we go a little bit longer an hour just because uh, we kind of get, <laughs> we kind of get carried away sometimes. It's a very lively group, I'll tell you that much. Kind of like what you guys are. You guys are you guys are asking a lot of questions throughout, which is amazing. And so imagine this kind of live environment on a regular basis where everyone's just focused on making money and making bots. It's really a great atmosphere to be part of. Um, and actually a lot of students are actually making good money too. So that's, that's always a plus. Um, Cool. Uh, any other questions before uh, we end this thing? I know you guys have been asking questions throughout the whole thing and, and I love this. this, is fantastic. All right, thank you for your time. Thank you for attending. Great job, thank you very much. Uh, remember, there's a survey at the end. Please fill out the survey um, so that I can continue to make these classes better and better for all you guys. And uh, there's some questions too about like future classes that we wanna make. There's, you know, we keep adding to a roster of classes. So uh, signing up, thanks. Awesome, great. See you in the live classes. Awesome. That sounds great. I'll see you soon. So I'll see you next week then. It's great. Cool. And hopefully some of you guys are going to be joining as well. So definitely a great group. Thank you very much for your time, guys. All right. Hope you have a great day. Goodbye.